It's time for an easy, breezy, relaxed day on the Megan Former Show, right? Wrong. Female empowerment, WWE wrestling, a viral TikTok video, cocktails, makeup, and you in the mix of it all. You're going to get a kick out of today's episode, and maybe a few punches too. Oh my god! I'm hot! Oh my god! Hi! Oh my god! 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 Oh my he trained me. He's my tra he's uh, my trainer. He's been always really strict on me, really intense. But he's taught me that anything a man can do, a woman can do. Are you ready to get in the ring? Uh, let's do an interview. I actually wanted to do an interview because I want my audience to get to know you and you know just. Yeah, but we need to tell your audience what wrestling is. Yeah. I'm just a little worried. I've never done this to be honest. Uh, you have a change of clothes. Yeah. No options. Sure. I'll be back. Yes. You like it? Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it looks so kimono, good. Right? Yes, I love it. It's like Perfect. a runway. Yeah. It's the best. Thank now, you. Now let's just take the choker off and the oh. kimono and let's get in the ring and practice. So I'm in the ring with the WWE star CJ Perry. She's also an actress, a model, and a classically trained ballerina. She's going to show me some moves and she's going to go really easy on me. <laughs> that was pretty easy. Okay, so we're going to start with rolls. Sure. When we're w the first thing that we do in wrestling is we're going to either run the ropes or roll and gets the blood flowing and it's also really good for anything in the ring for transitions or like if you're trying to get around someone, if you're right. trying to duck their punch right. or duck their clothesline, you can roll. Like someone's throwing a clothes like if I'm coming at you, you can duck and roll, right? Well, how would I duck and roll? So you're going to go like this. So you're going to step out and then you're going to Duck, duck, just duck, pull, duck, pull, duck, yeah, duck, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just worried I'll, I may break my neck. No, 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 you don't have to be afraid. Wrestling's all about fa facing your fear. So just step out uh -huh. and push. Like, go, go. Yep. Yes! Yeah! Yes! Wow, that already feels better. That looks so good. You, you see, know, you were scared and you were stopping yourself. I was yourself. scared. Yeah. I was scared. Yeah, you, you were just right. thought of running to your fear. So listen, I had a few incidents when I wanted to make sure that if I'm ever physically in danger, I know like a couple moves that I can protect myself. Mm -hmm. Show me those two female empowerment moves that I can carry with me. It just feels good. You yes, know? yes. I'm not putting a lot of weight on you because you're just so beautiful and Aww. gorgeous. But you know, with a if it was a guy or someone, they came. You go. You can put it a lot more. Got it. Even more. Got it. So if I'm going, let's say if I'm going to go that hit, like hit you or grab you, mm -hmm. you can just take my arm. Now go and now. And yep. then this. Ah. Uh, yep. Like if you put your hand here right now, okay. you're going all this extra mu movement, and then you're going down. Down. But you want to go if you go here. Let's say if we locked up, right? Right. You can just go, oh. boom, and now stand up. So I can take you down. Oh, you thought you were the best model? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Good. Ah. <laughs> I'm the best I agree of with all you. time. Uh huh. I agree with you 100%. Does that hurt? Mm, a little bit, you know? Okay, I won't break you. So, here, now take it. Ah. Yes. Ah. Oh my god. Yes. Wow. Yes. Okay. Are you ready to fight? You? Yeah. I'm I just have your next opponent. I have another opponent. Mm -hmm. I was here for a little interview. Mm -hmm. oh. Hi! How are you? Don't you hide me. Okay. Get in your corner, get ready to fight. Hey, don't bring my bad side out of me because that's you don't want to see that bad side of mine. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, let's see what you got. There. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Where are you going? I mean, I, this is just an interview, you know? It's an interview no, for you who? You're in my ring. Yeah, okay, I'm in your ring, so come what? On, come so, on, get okay. ready. Now I'm okay. scared, now I'm scared. Okay. Now I'm scared. Good! Now I'm scared. Good. Now I'm scared. Yeah! Girl power! Celebrate. celebrate, celebrate! I'm gonna celebrate! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, like you own the runway. Yeah, I yeah. own the runway. All you the own the ring! Yes! Confidence! Woo. Wow. God, that was some serious stuff. 
like my adrenaline level is so high right now, but I got a little bit of a confidence boost. Yeah. Yeah. Right in that ring. I love that. I, yeah, I mean, wrestling has to do, so much of pro wrestling has to do with confidence. And I feel like I've learned a lot of life lessons from professional wrestling um, because I, I've i realized that people are drawn to confidence and everything. Like, yes. you can't go out there without having confidence. Yes. And being a bad guy, I usually get booed a lot. And so you, if you don't believe in yourself, then who is going to believe in you? And so I have to go out there and be confident no matter what. If people hate me, boo me, because that's what you want yeah. people to boo yeah. you and yeah. so but it's taught me to be a lot more confident in life like kind of like okay internet trolls you don't like me I don't care you know or just go after your dream no matter what people say or think you so, know so you know what's fascinating to me the first time I met you I found you this mm -hmm. amazingly like loving girl with a very soft heart you connect with people emotionally like boom like your heart to heart connection is like incredible but then I saw you in the ring I always watch you like I watch you on your show on TV and I always see that you're portraying this bad guy like mm -hmm. person and it makes me feel like how do you go in these two characters in life like to the bat from the bad guy to the emotional girl like how's the balance I feel like we have a lot of different sides of us as human beings right. and um, in WWE and we're storytellers and um, professional wrestling you're a storyteller and you're telling a story and yeah. you're a character so that's why when you came in I was like oh my god you look like a supermodel and that's why I was like trying to show you things of like if you were a bad guy of what you could say like I'm the best yeah, model yeah, 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 yeah. you're not as good as me you're not as tall as me you're not as pretty as me so like that's simple storytelling when you think about like different movies you watch you know that's the bad girl right versus yes. the good girl and so so um, I feel like I've learned, I've learned how to sto like be that character and then separate in my real life. One thing I noticed with you, you are a real woman. You're wholesome. I feel like you have the right that your yin and yang are within you. I felt it the first time I met you. What made you get into this? Get into WWE? What was that? fire that was like br burning so hard that made yeah. you say I'm gonna go all the way yeah I feel like um like I've always wanted to be a sports entertainer and I've always my whole life since I've been a little girl I've wanted to entertain um whole entire stadiums and um put smiles on people's faces I think I just never thought that oh <sighs> sorry um I think I just never thought like that the skinny ballerina from Russia could become a professional WWE superstar, professional wrestler. And I was always like a little bit more of the, not the fragile one, but definitely in wrestling when I first started in WWE, like when I got the opportunity to um, try out and you know, they first didn't take me and I kept on going. I was like, I will never forget when they're like, no, you're, we just don't think you're durable enough. And I was like, you don't think I'm durable? I come, came from Russia. I, they said I would never be anything. I defied all my odds. I crossed the ocean. I chased my dream. I am the most durable here. I'm the most resilient. And a couple of weeks later, they signed me. But my whole journey in WWE has been that way. If it's like, you know, they'll give me an opportunity and then they'll be like, oh, you're not, you need to be stronger. You need to be faster. You need to be more vicious. And I feel like WWE has reflected my life journey and it's been I'm not gonna quit I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep on training and one day I will become champion and it just I feel like it's taught me how we need to approach life like like how you were doing that role right how you didn't want to do it and you almost stopped because you were afraid instead of running into your fear and so it's taught me like no run into our fear so many times often in life our fear stops us from mm -hmm. something and instead of being like no let's run into it and by running into it the greatest thing will happen so wow so yeah. resilience and persistence yeah win yeah and no matter how many no's you yeah, hear yeah don't run away from fear but literally run, into, run it. into it yeah you are a champion already you're a champion both in the heart and in the physical world and i'm so proud of you you're one of those women that i look up to every time i have a moment that i feel yeah. down you. and you know what you just taught me one more thing here if girls bond together oh my god <laughs> we, we take over the world yeah if girls are you know backing each other yes. game over yeah game on actually. yeah it's game on Listen, thank you so oh, much for you. this thank you so much for sharing you. your heart with everybody yes. i know a lot of women look up to you a lot of men look up to you and thank you for making this world a better place by showing women that they can do anything they put yeah. their minds into no matter yes. what cj you're the epitome of girl power after a day in the ring with you i feel so strong
Guys, I want to take a quick break to speak about something that's very important to me personally, especially since we are always on our phones these days. First, here's a not so fun fact. Did you know that cell phones may emit up to five times the legal radiation limit? Many studies have shown links between radiation and long-term health risks such as cancer, infertility, sleeplessness, and headaches. I get them all the time. Meet Safe Sleep. This phone case blocks 99% of the radiation with its shielding technology and keeps you safe while you're on the phone. Thank you, Safe Sleep, for keeping us safe. Safe Sleeve for Cell Phone is a cell phone case specifically designed to block radiation. As you can see, the difference is dramatic. Our shielding technology, which we integrate into the front flap, has been tested in a third-party FCC-accredited lab to block over 99% of RF and 92% of ELF radiation emitted by your cell phone. Now, after all the action, who's ready for a cocktail? My super talented friend, not only he's an amazing music producer, actor, his TikTok videos are going viral, but he's actually Megan, can amazing. you please keep it down? I'm trying to shoot a TikTok and you are being really loud just, over just, there. Just one little last thing, he's an amazing fitness guru. He literally, you literally gave me six pack abs in 10 minutes. Well, this is a true story. This is a very true story. Yeah. I have it on video. I mean, I have been taking credit for your abs ever since then. I know. Okay, so. I see you and your little tequila going on here. Yeah, that's right. So today I'm gonna be putting you through one of my TikToks and I'm gonna show you how to make the most fun margarita you've ever made. He's also a great cook and a great like mixologist. I don't know who's paying her to say this, but I like it. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. I got paid by somebody, I'll tell you later. But listen, I wanna know how you make your amazing like margaritas. It's five o'clock somewhere. Well, here's the thing, I said it's gonna be fun. I didn't say it's gonna be amazing. It's not gonna be that tasty. I don't know the recipe, but it's definitely gonna look good. This looks good. I'm not good at it. Okay, but this I is not it. a prop knife, so oh, okay. be very careful with oh, that. Oh, got it, yeah. got it. This is, real, this is one of my favorite knives. Yeah. Oh, sure. So basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna interact and I'm gonna incorporate you on one of my viral TikToks that ready. I made. We're gonna redo it together. Ready, ready. Yes. TikToker, I'm so, a professional TikToker. Let's get it going. We're gonna test your coordination and your timing. So right here, I got my boy Kevin from 1041 Studios. Uh, hi. Basically, I make music by making different things. And today, we're gonna make a margarita out of ASMR music. As we can see, the first shot here is I'm gonna have to open this shaker bottle, place it down all on time, grab this cutting board, flip it like this, and then that's one shot right there. Done. And then once we nail that, then we go on to the next shot. And then when we're done with everything, we put it all together and it's a nice little story of Beautiful. making a margarita. There you have, that's the result of what we did. I loved it, it was really amazing. So, it's time to drink. Yeah, exactly, but wait, 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 Daniel, Daniel, come on, come here. So <laughs> well, this is my amazing creative director, you Daniel, me? because you're a, you, you <laughs> want that margarita. Good to see you, thank you. Honored. Honored. thank you for having us. Guys, I was so distracted because he was like, <laughs> I've been dying for a drink, so thank you, because like this, I was getting a little jealous I know, the camera. There the we go. All right, like... well, fortunately for all of us, I don't <laughs> know, actually, I'm not really looking forward to this. We have a couple extras here. Oh, nice. Made of the nice. same thank stuff you. off See, camera. I got you. Yeah, I told you. Thank you. Get some cactus okay. going over here. All right. And, all right. Uh, cheers. 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 Bottoms up. Cheers. I hope it's good. Cheers. cheers. What is wrong with you guys? This is delicious. <laughs> it's so bad. Don't so judge me on that. Speak for yourself. I, I forgot great. to put the sugar. You're supposed to usually put some agave in there. And the I'm, jalapeno, like you have too much jalapeno in there. I'm like, spice, my brain's spicy. Spicy. I thought it gives it a kick, you know? It gives it more than a kick. I feel I like I got beat up. Yeah, I think it, it, I it was great. a jalapeno. Yeah, he actually likes this. I, 
I'm, I'm, okay, you're allowed to come over and have a cocktail. Thank you. You can experiment. You can do like that. You can do like that. Give me yours. Just give me a few straws and you'll find me by the pool. Bye, everybody. He likes it. That was fun. Agreed. Seriously. Agreed. Completely unbiasedly, you're one of the most creative people I've ever met. Like, how do you even come up with this stuff? That's the nicest thing anyone's ever <laughs> told me in my life. No, but seriously, how do you come up with these ideas? I want to know the exact moment that this idea came to your head. You know, I can't really explain it. Sometimes it just hits me and I like to have fun. I like to incorporate me into the content that I make. And, uh -huh. you know, obviously I've been, music has been a big part of my life, my entire life. And I just wanted to do that in a fun, creative way that I haven't seen before. So. You have this very unique musical ear that anything you hear, even when I'm walking, it turns into like beats for you. Everything's music. Everything's music. Mm. So, but do you usually come up with these ideas when you're alone, when you're with people? Like, I want to understand the process. Um, you know, I'm inspired by my life. You know, I'm fortunate to have a great group of friends that I hang out with a lot. And uh, it's usually, you know, when we're together, something will hit me. Oh, okay. And then it's like a balance, though, because sometimes I'm by myself and it's like it hits me there. So one thing I noticed with you is that you really, you root it. You always talk about your roots. You like your culture. You talk about your mother a lot. You incorporate like your mother in a lot of the videos that yeah. you make. I remember you guys went to Spain or something. Yeah, yeah, and your we're mom, out in Spain. oh my God, I was loving you. Your yeah. mom can be your sister. She's oh, yeah, so she's, young. Yeah, blessed. Got them jeans. Stay yes. young forever. Yes, I feel like Latin creators are becoming more and more successful every single day. And I think because it's, they carry that warmth into their content. Mm -hmm. Tell me how that helped you shape your. Uh, career in the entertainment industry? Um, I think that more importantly than anything, it's just important to be unique. And um, it's important to be yourself. Mm -hmm. So having a diverse background culturally is just something that I never really embraced that much until later in life now that I was just realizing, you know, let me just be myself. I need to be proud of that. And then doing that, you realize that no matter what you're going through in life, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, you're not alone, you know? Mm -hmm. There's other people that relate with you. So by doing that and by being m myself and putting myself out there, it's, uh, it's just been, you know, uh, something that other people can attach to as well. I watched your movie on HBO yes. last week. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, Spence did yes. a fantastic job in Thank this you. movie. Go watch this movie. Yeah. It was about a person who had a multi-personality disorder. Yeah. And you were the guy who was keeping him together and really helping him from falling apart. Tell me, what, how did you get ready for that character? Um, well, yeah, it was an intense role. It was an intense film. Um, it was, it's my first feature film that's on HBO. Yes, Which is exciting. Thank Super you so exciting. much. And Huracan is very important to me because um, just one for a, for a mixed martial arts film to be on HBO and just, it's a movie that I made with one of my close friends. Oh wow. That he wrote and directed it and it's just like, That's the uh, best thing. It's a beautiful thing. you a masterpiece and with your best friend. We're in a room talking about an idea, working on a script, developing our characters, and then boom, it's on HBO. Wow. Such wow. a beautiful thing. Congratulations. Thank well you. deserved. You Thank killed you. it. Thank you. One of the things that I noticed and I loved was that the cast was mainly Latin people. Mm -hmm. And it's very rare. It's very yeah. rare to watch a Hollywood movie that's like, you know, they pick up most of the cast members from a minority group. Yeah. How did that come about? Well, yeah, I, I mean, for one, I think that's one of the reasons why the film is so important. Uh, important to me, important to the culture important to the Latino community and minorities in general. It's like, um, you know, statistically, Latinos make up 25% of moviegoers that are wow. buying tickets in theaters, but there's only 3% of them on camera represented as actors. Well, you're changing that. So I think, well, yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the reasons why we set out to make a film that really authentically depicts you know, mm -hmm. Latinos on, on film and, and diversity in general. You give something for everybody, if, if whether you're into music or fitness or TikTok like, or, or movies, whatever you're into, you're giving him a glimpse of and you're basically a role model and a great example of how sky's the limit if you really put your focus in so, into something that you really want. Who's the closest person to you that you go to when you feel like the, you know, when you're having some moments that are not that happy? I would say that there are two people in my life that are very special. I mean, I have so many special people in my life, but the two that are my rocks that keep me going when I'm working and I'm like thinking about what I'm doing are my big brother and my mother. Um, my brother is an orthopedic surgeon 
and there's no one that works as hard as him. Top of his class and just so intelligent and well-rounded. I love him. I go, for him, go to him for advice whenever I need help. Wow. And also my mom, single mother, raised two sons. It's just me and my brother. Oh. And uh, I remember she used to work three jobs growing up just to make sure we had food. It's like I think about that and I don't know where I would be without her. Well, you're very special to me. This was my first major TikTok video. It better go viral, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better see. watch it. Because if it doesn't go viral, I'll take it personally because all of his videos go viral. <laughs> you Thank killed you it. Thank you so much for being here, sharing your talent, sharing your heart. Thank you for having and me. And you always have a very special place in my heart. Yeah, likewise. <laughs> now, let's take a break because I'm hungry. I'd like you to meet my friend Candace Walker from Proportional Plate. Hi Megan, today we are making delicious pillowy fluffy gnocchi. So we'll start by baking three pounds of potatoes. Grease them with a fork, oil them up, and season them with salt. Pop them in the oven at 425 for an hour. And when you take them out, you want to peel them while they're as hot as possible because they're easier to peel and easier to break down. Use a wooden spoon, add two cups of flour and one beaten egg, and then mix the dough together. It's gonna feel like Play-Doh and it'll come together in about a minute. And then you can roll out your dough. So just take little chunks at a time, roll them into a snake about an inch in diameter, and you'll cut them into about half inch pieces don't want them bigger than a half inch because when you cook them, they tend to get a little bit gummy. We want light, pillowy, fluffy, gnocchi deliciousness. <laughs> Freeze it on a sheet pan, and when they're frozen, you break them off of the sheet pan and toss them into a freezer bag. Boil some water. I like to heat up my sauce in a pan on the side. Pop it in the fresh or frozen gnocchi, and as soon as it floats to the surface, it's done. Toss it to coat in whatever delicious sauce you're using. And I hope you like this recipe as much as I do because I have a freezer full of gnocchi that I am excited to dive into. Thanks so much for having me on the show, Megan. Thank you so much, Candice. That looked delicious. Get ready to meet Megs Cahill, one of the most amazing makeup artists I've ever seen and a true visionary. If you guys know me at all, you know that I'd love to get glammed up, whether it's for a night out or an event or adding a little bit of a finishing touch to my look. I think makeup is super transformative. So I'm excited to introduce you to somebody who is a master of her craft when it comes to makeup, the Megs Cahill. And Megs, it's so great to have you on the show. Well, um, I always so watch your videos. I always watch all the trends. You, you are great at creating trends. There are so many talented artists, but I feel like when it comes to your craft and the content you put out there, it's not only about your work, but you have a message besides like your main you yeah. know, content. Yeah. Tell me more about the depth of your work and how makeup has been your inspiration to do more and more. So makeup is just a huge like release for me. It's beautiful. It's creative. I grew up dancing my whole life, acting, you know, doing all these things. So with art and paint, that's kind of like how makeup is. You have these beautiful pigments and it just, it really can do like the pick me ups, you know, yeah, yeah, growing yeah. up, I struggled with cystic acne. I was on Accutane oh, wow. for seven months. Yeah. Um, so I actually have cysts throughout my body, but that came out in my acne as well. That's so. our biggest enemy, like growing yes. up, I think is that whether you're a girl or a boy, like cystic acne, oh my oh, God, yeah. it affects your self-confidence yes. image. Like you don't know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. So like you went through it yourself. Yeah. Okay. So that's where I really learned like the color theory of it, the green concealer is how to, you know, transform things. And that's why now with being on socials, a really big thing for me is to not edit those out. Mm -hmm. So even though the picture might not be picture perfect to everyone, one. To me, leaving those few blemishes is showing the realness that I have and showing what real makeup looks like. I think you in particular mastered this niche market, which is the art of coming up with TikTok trends. Oh my gosh. Your, <laughs> your TikTok videos always go viral. Yeah. I watch them all the time. It's actually my way of switching off by just yeah. watching these amazing trends that you come yeah. up with. What is, I need to understand the formula. What, like, how does it go from like understanding, okay, what's gonna go viral? Like, this yeah. is what I should do, this is the trend. Yeah. How does it get started, the process in your head? I just think what's gonna catch someone's eye, what's gonna stop them while they're scrolling. And with that being said, let's do a little fun TikTok eye look on you. Oh, done. You ready? I'm ready for that. Yes. Let's foxy. get what is foxy. the trend right now? The foxy. Yes. Yeah, okay. So we have the cat eye, which is like the normal wing, but there is a new thing going around that is more of the foxy eye. Okay. So this is where 
we're gonna elongate the edge of her eye and the inner corner of her eye, and we'll just add a pop of shimmer in the middle, and we're gonna pull that center piece with the shimmer forward, and it's gonna make you look like a fox. Beautiful. For her eyes, we can go in with liquid liner, but to make this more foolproof, we're gonna go in with a black shadow. So I'm just okay. using an angled brush, and if you do a shadow, it's a little bit easier. Um, so I'm just gonna use some black shadow. Instead of using a liquid liner, I'm gonna close your eye. And this is gonna be more foolproof. It's gonna give us that wing that we can kind of smoke out in a way too. Oh, I love that. So I always have my client open the eye and I check just to make sure, you know, everything's good. So we're gonna fill this little gap right here to open her eyes up. Now, since it's shadow, what's cool is I can just kind of push it out and elongate the wing without worrying about the liquid to get everywhere. Okay, so we're using eyeshadow. We're using a black shadow, black yes. Black shadow, okay. Yeah, instead of a liner. It's more foolproof, um, that way if you needed to fix anything, and then if you really wanted to, you could trace that with liquid liner. touch to really finish off the TikTok trend, very euphoric if you will say, are some rhinestones. So oh, this nice. is actually my brand, Get Stoned. A little bit cheeky, like Get Rhinestones. Get Stoned, get stoned. okay. Um, so we have some different colors here. They come in these packs, variety of colors. So we're gonna go ahead and pour some out and put some on you. Oh wow. Yes. That's so you see beautiful. How you detaching the lights. It's almost like it's snapping at you. Is there a part of your work that you found healing for yourself? Oh my gosh. Yourself? Everything, yeah. You know, I've been through a lot in my life, and I think a lot of people wouldn't think that meeting me because I'm so like, hello, what's up, everybody? Uh, so lovely, yeah. yeah, but you know, um, a lot of times I'm like that because there are things I've been through, and I really understand you know, personal relationships and how to treat people properly. You know, yeah. I have had a sexual assault case in my past that really, you know, led to bullying with social media and I completely stopped. It kind of shaped me. And then not only that, my dad's a correction officer, so he's very pushed into, you know, the workforce and that kind of stuff. And that's just not me. I'm, I'm creative. So, um, yeah, I mean, and just meeting people. I always want to be kind to people. I've traveled the world. I've met some people that aren't the best, you know, in the industry. And I never want to walk away from, I don't want anyone to walk away from me having that impression of anything negative. Yeah. You know, I want everyone to have a positive. Well, you bring the best out of people. <laughs> Look. Yeah, I'm like, yes, glam. On a physical level, which also affects their yeah. emotional level. Yeah, and you have to have good energy when doing a client because we're so close. Like, even, I just met you today, and I'm already, like, touching your face. And you don't do that to strangers. Yeah, so you don't walk true. up to someone in the grocery store and do that. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, with being close, we have to have good energy to have a good relationship. Thank you so much for coming Thank on the show. This is super exciting. Can I get the foxy eyes like yes, all the time? Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm, I'm going to be girl. texting you saying, listen, I need the foxy eyes today. <laughs> Thank go. you so much. Thank you Thank for you coming for on the me. show. It was lovely to meet you and thank you for the foxy eyes. Of course. Thank, thank, you. You, so thank you so much. Talk about a bag of mixed tricks. What can I say? I always want to keep you on your toes. Now to all of my guests and of course my audience, thank you for fueling my heart with so much joy and inspiration. I'm so grateful for you and I'm so privileged that we have a place to be our silly as free as most compassionate and authentic selves. Catch you again soon right here on The Megan Former Show.